lovely lady knitting the socks is Mrs. Archer, mother of Corliss Archer. During the course of many quiet evenings at home, Mrs. Archer has knitted many, many pairs of socks. These are the feet that wear the socks that Mrs. Archer knits. They belong to Mr. Archer. At least I think it's Mr. Archer. Do you like going to the movies tonight, Harry? Hear that? She said, Harry. It is Mr. Archer. And if I know Corliss's father, he'll be glad to take his wife out tonight. You watch. He won't say no. How about it, dear? Or would you rather stay home? Yes, dear. I told you he wouldn't say no. <laughs> Western. Yes, dear. I like westerns usually, but this one was different. Yes, dear. This one was a science fiction western. Yes, dear. Tell me, partner, which way did those ornery Martians go? Ornery <laughs> Martians? Yes, dear. Golly, I thought you two'd be gone by now. Weren't you going to the movies? We were, but we decided we'd rather stay home. I told Dexter that after we're married, we're still going to go out and enjoy ourselves and do things. But on second thought, maybe we better have as much fun as we can before we're married. Oh. Hi, Dexter. I'll bet Dexter wants you to buy tickets to the masquerade. You will buy them, won't you, dear? Yes, of course. And Janet, um... Yes, Harry? Those ornery Martians, they went that away. Did you sell the tickets, Dexter? No. Oh, golly. What are we going to do now? I can't go to that masquerade without you. Oh, don't worry, Corliss. I know somebody will take those tickets off my hands just like that. Who? Your father. Dexter, you're a genius. Oh, Corliss, it's nothing. Anybody with half a brain could have thought of that. I know, but you're the one who did. Yeah. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Archer. Mrs. Archer. Good evening, Dexter. Good evening, Dexter. How are you? Well, I'm swell. I... Yeah, no. You know, I'm not swell at all. But I would be swell, Mr. Archer, if you'd like to buy two swell tickets to a swell masquerade. Oh, it'd be swell of you. But could we wait and discuss it when the swelling goes down? Well, for charity, Dexter. If you sell ten tickets, you get one free. Yeah, Collis has already gotten rid of her quota, but I got two left. Dexter, are you putting the bite on me for those tickets? Oh, no, Mr. Archer, I wouldn't put the bite on you. After all, you're my future... My future... Uh, you're Carlos's father. Well, then. But, but how about it, Mr. Archer? Would you like to buy the two tickets? Dexter, it is quite clear to me that you could use some expert schooling in the fine art of salesmanship. Salesmanship? Yes, now, the first thing you have to do is develop a positive approach to your customer. You must ooze confidence. Uh, show that you're eager. And, uh, above all, be aggressive. <laughs> Confident? Aggressive. Yeah, watch this. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Archer. Tell you what I'm going to do for such a worldly and intelligent man such as you are. I happen to have, here in my hand, the greatest entertainment value of all times. Two tickets to a genuine masquerade ball. Now, these tickets are going fast, and this offer may be withdrawn at any time, so, uh, how about it? Will you buy the two tickets? No. <laughs> now, Harry, look what you've done. You've just turned Dexter's whole world upside down. <laughs> I'll be in the den if anybody wants me. Aw, oh, Dex, Daddy was only teasing. I think you're wonderful. You do? Oh, well, everything's all right. <laughs> Corliss, will you help me with this, please? Sure, Mom. And don't lose hope, Dexter. I'm sure if you speak to Mr. Archer again, he'll reconsider. Go ahead, Dexter. You know that old saying, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Okay, I will. I will try again. Because if I do say so myself, in all this world, there's no more trying boy than me. <laughs> and don't look so worried, Corliss. Your father's going to buy those tickets. I wish I could believe that, Mom. Well, then go ahead and listen to what they're saying in the den. 
Please, Mr. Archer, will you buy those tickets? All right, yes, sir, please, I will. Mr. Archer, say you will. You've got to I say so. I said I would. Uh, give me one good reason why you don't want to buy the tickets. I'm going to buy the tickets. Oh, that's not a good reason. Corlin! <laughs> Corlin! Carlos, will you straighten Dexter out? I'm trying to Sure, Daddy, I will. Here, hold this. Carlos, I've, I've come to the conclusion there's only one way to handle your father. How's that? Holy cow, I was hoping you'd know. <laughs> well, let's ask your mother. Maybe she can help us. Mrs. Archer, I tried, but I just couldn't sell them. Well, maybe I'll give it a try. Oh, would you, Mrs. Archer? Here, let me help you with this. Oh, but Dexter... Oh, no, you're helping me. The least I can do is help you. Thank you for talking to Mr. Archer. It, it, it's not that I'm afraid of him, you know. It's just that sometimes he gets that look on his face, and when he does, I... <laughs> Would you like to buy two swell tickets to a masquerade? Yes, Dexter. But if you ask me, it's a hold-up. <laughs> that was quite a holding action. Mr. Archer is held up. Corliss held up her end and made Dexter hold out. And with all this holding her attention, Mrs. Archer is holding up admirably. <laughs> Somebody answer the door, please. I'm busy. Would somebody answer the door, please? I'm busy. I'm busy. I'll answer it. <laughs> <laughs> Is it animal, vegetable, or mineral? It's me, Dexter. Who is it, Daddy? I think it's an armadillo. <laughs> oh, Dexter, I didn't recognize you in your new suit. Nice material. Want to wear like iron, huh? <laughs> oh, Daddy, doesn't Dexter look positively electrified? Yes, he gave me a shock. I thought the masquerade was on Saturday. Oh, it is. I just came over to show you my costume. He's going as a knight of King Arthur's Round Table. I'm going as Queen Guinevere. Aren't we medieval? Why, Dexter, you look so chivalrous. I don't feel chival uh, chivalrous. I don't feel that way. I kind of feel like the bottom fish in a can of sardines. <laughs> oh, why are we standing here? Let's go in the living room. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I guess I haven't learned to steer it yet. <laughs> I don't understand how you ever got into that costume, Dexter. Oh, well, you see, Miss Doctor, there's a whole bunch of plates. Plates? Oh, sure. You, you see, there's an arm plate. And the arm plate's connected to the shoulder plate. And the shoulder plate's connected to the chest plate. And the chest plate's connected to the hip plate. And the hip plate's connected to the leg plate. And the leg plate's Dexter. connected to the Dexter plate. What Dexter means is that all the different pieces are held together with nuts and bolts. Show them, Dexter. See? Yeah, and this bolt here, that's the one that holds the whole works together. Isn't it exciting? Just like the days of old, when knights were bold. If they went out dressed like that, they had to be bold. <laughs> Hardly wait to see you in your costume, Daddy. Yeah, I can. Why, Harry, you're going to look lovely. That cavalier costume really shows off your legs. Janet, <laughs> you know, my legs aren't what they used to be. What did they used to be? <laughs> <laughs> well, I have work to do. Well, like I said, I just came over to show you my costume. Well, seeing you, Dexter, has been an experience that I will always treasure. Can you sit down, Dexter? I don't know. I haven't tried. <laughs> hey, you better try over here. Will you excuse us? Yes. Gosh, Mr. Archer, I'm sorry. It's all right, Dexter. A thing like that could happen to anyone. Yeah, but why does it always happen to me? I, I, I better be going home now. Good night. Something's wrong. Well, can't you straighten up? Yeah, I can, but the suit can. <laughs> well, you must be rusted. Corliss, there's some oil in the kitchen. Would you get it for me, please? And hurry. Don't worry, Dexter. You'll soon be good at you. Yeah, we'll have your transmission fixed in no time. It's not my transmission that's broken. It's my rear axle. Well, don't worry, Sir Galahad. Or is it Sir Lancelot? I feel more like the hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> oh, thank you. Now, well, we'll soon have Dexter working again. One second, you'll be as good as new. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, thank you, Mr. Archer. I'll do the same for you someday. Dexter, if you ever catch me in an outfit like that, I'll deserve it. Cigarette, <laughs> I had one a minute ago. Harry, I think I smell smoke. Me too. Yeah, me too. I think it's coming from over there. No? No, no I think it's over here. Dexter, you're on fire. Holy cow! Mom, Daddy, do something. Put him out. Roll him in the water. Put him out. Put him out. Put him out. Put him out. That's right. Put him out. Get on the water. <laughs> How do I look? Very nice, dear. Do I look dashing? Very dashing indeed. Well, she's right, I do look dashing. <laughs> On guard, Janet. Some other time, dear. Collins and Dexter are waiting. You know, I should have been born in those days. I'd have cut quite a figure. Mm, watch out, you don't cut my figure. <laughs> my, I feel years younger. And to think you owe it all to Dexter. And to think I owe it all to De I do. <laughs> Relax, Dexter. You can't hurt anything. Well, maybe so. But I'll sure feel a lot safer when I get out of this house. <laughs> Golly, you two look dreamy. Boy, I'll say, those disguises make you look keen. Costumes, Dexter, not disguises. Oh, well, anyway, you look keen. Now you look pretty keen yourself. <laughs> well, shall we go, everyone? Our steeds are waiting. <laughs> shall we all go in our speed, Harry? Uh, Janet. What about my steed covers? I mean, seat covers. <laughs> Something wrong, Daddy? Well, I think he meant to say that you and Dexter should go in Dexter's car and we'll meet you there. Sure, Mom. I understand. <laughs> Dexter, could I have my hat? Now, be sure and drive carefully. Okay, Mr. Archer, we will. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, isn't this romantic? I feel so queenly. Dexter, what are you doing? I'm checking the tires. I forgot to get air. You should have done that when you got gas. I forgot to get gas. <laughs> Bye, Mom, Daddy. Come on, Dexter, let's go. Okay, I'll start her up. Get in and advance the spark. Oh, Dexter. Aren't you ever going to get a new ignition for this car? Why should I? I can always start it by jumping up and down on the running board. <laughs> oh, holy cow. The suit is too heavy. I can't jump up and down in it. Oh, goodness, Dexter. If you can't jump up, then jump off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I said, did you get our tickets? The tickets? Oh, sure. Wait a minute. They're, uh... Oh, they're right here on the end of this piece of string. <laughs> well, uh, don't worry. We'll get them when we get there. <laughs> Aren't you going to check the tires again, Dexter? Maybe you did something to them when you jumped off the running board. Yeah, maybe you're right. Well, that one's all right. This one's all right, too. Hey, this one's all right, too. You know something, Carlos? Tonight, we're really in luck. Well, Corliss and Dexter may never get to the masquerade, but how many social events can they attend in one evening? They've already been to one blowout. <laughs> Wonderful time, didn't you, Harry? Yeah, wonderful time. You were certainly the life of the party. Mm, well, I don't know why we don't do this every night. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you're not tired. 
tired. I'm fresh as a daisy. I could have danced until dawn. Well, not with me, you couldn't. <laughs> I'm tired. Just goes to show that some people have it and others don't. Well, I remember when some people didn't used to have it. <laughs> now, how about a gay little late supper, just the two of us? All right, dear. Corliss and Dexter were certainly having a good time. Yes, I told them they could stay out until one. Dexter's costume was quite a success. Especially when the drummer used him for a cymbal. Ah, <laughs> uh, does a man good to know he can still live it up. I imagine so. I feel fresh as a daisy. That's nice, dear. You know, it seems like only yesterday we were first married. The years have certainly flown by, but you know something, Janet? Yes, Harry? I feel just as young tonight as I did then. That is nice, Harry. Here you are, Harry. <laughs> Harry. Hmm? Fresh as a daisy. <laughs> Come on, dear. Your petals are drooping. <laughs> Well, I guess Mr. Archer is not as young as he used to be. But isn't that the story of all our lives? From whoopee to droopy. Wasn't it heavenly, Dad? Yeah, but I'll sure be glad to get out of this glorified pressure cooker. You had the best costume at the ball. Well, I was the only one the drummer could play. <laughs> Sir Galahad, would thou like a good night kiss? Holy cow, would thou? <laughs> Dexter, maybe you better give me my good night kiss in the morning. Yeah, you look much prettier with your nose on. <laughs> good night, Corliss. Good night, Dexter. Golly, I forgot my key. Well, why don't you ring the doorbell? I don't want to wake up Mom and Dad. Oh. Well, don't worry. Your brave knight will get you to the house somehow. Yeah, maybe that window. Quiet, Dexter. Please be quiet. Janet, Janet! Hmm? I think I hear a prowler. <laughs> Don't cry. You'll rust me. <laughs> My goodness, what happened? We fell off the porch. But how could he have don't, don't, don't ask what he was doing. I don't want to know. Dexter, you hurt? I'm okay. Just get me out of this. I can't. The boat's stripped. Well, we can't let him stay like this. Oh, oh Daddy, please do something. No, no, no. Take it easy, Corliss. You wait here and I'll go get help. And don't you go away to either, Dexter. <laughs> oh, my poor fallen knight. And to think you did this all for me. Oh, Corliss. Yes, you did. All for me. Well, you know something, Corliss? If I had it to do all over again... Yes, my hero? I wouldn't do it. <laughs> you know something, Dexter? I wouldn't blame you. Anyhow, don't worry, Dexter. Daddy will think of something. He's very resourceful that way. He's probably got both the police and fire departments on the way over right now. Well, who'd you call, Daddy? The Auto Club. The Auto Club? I don't even belong. Uh, be my guest. <laughs> oh. Why don't you go inside and wait? Well, uh, it is warmer inside. Dexter, you sure you'll be all right out here by yourself? Sure. How much trouble can I get into like this? <laughs> what a kiss. I wonder what it felt like. In days of old, when knights were bold, those iron suits in which they hid made necking something no one did. Over here, mister. Where's the wreck? I'm in. Get me out of here. Okay, but, uh, but how? Don't ask me. I'm inside. You're outside. 
Well, the first thing we got to do is get you on your feet. <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't go away. <laughs> Once I get you on your feet, we'll get you out of that thing in a hurry. Now, don't move. This will only take a second. <laughs> How'd you get stuck in there anyway? Corliss forgot our keys. I ought to have something in here doing a trick. I tried to open the window and I fell off the porch. Well, yeah, I got a tool for everything. You should have been here the other night. No. Mr. Archer had oil me. Maybe if I had a hacksaw with me. That was after I ripped his chair on my pants. Yeah, yeah. a hacksaw on a door. Of course, he didn't set me on fire on purpose. Um, I only had a hacksaw. Anyhow, he put me out. I got a hacksaw. <laughs> you got set on fire? A hacksaw? Corey! <laughs> Oh, thank goodness you're here. That's what you say. He was going to use a hacksaw on me. Isn't that rather drastic, Harris? Mm, yes. What about a hammer and chisel? Okay, I'll try anything once. in the truck. How about that? Oh, no. Dangerous. Well, I'll have to take him down to the body shop. Oh, good. No, no, you can't do that. Why not? Well, you might hurt him. You can't tow him. Mr. Archer. Yes, Dexter. I'm getting bored. Can you send in some comic books and a flashlight? Hey, Dexter. Now, you have to go and get some more tools. Okay. Come on in the house, Dexter. I can't move. The suit's jammed. No. Uh, would you come back a moment, please? Uh, would you give me a hand? I'll clear with Dexter this time. That's what I like about you, Corliss. You're faithful to the end. I'll get you out of there, Dexter. I promise. Even if it takes years. <laughs> Well, Dexter wanted to play the part of the knight, and he sure is wrapped up in the part. Oh, thank goodness you're back. Now we'll get him out of there in a jiffy. Yeah. Uh, Janet, he's here! You'll just give me a hand here. We'll have the boy free. Yeah. Uh, well, what do you want me to do? Just hold his head there steady, yeah. and I'll put the pressure on this. Be careful, not hurt him. Oh, don't worry, lady. Let's give it a little... <laughs> Dead. He's in there either. Well, he's gotta be somewhere. Right, huh? All the guys down at the garage get flat tires. I have to get a human hot rod. <laughs> Dexter, how did you get out of there? I got him out, Daddy. You did? Well, how could you do it when no one else could? Well, she's got a mechanical mind, Mr. Archer. She takes after Mrs. Archer. <laughs> No, really, Corliss. How did you do it? With this. <laughs> Well, it's the evening after the night before, and I see things are back to normal in the Archer household. From the looks of things, I gather that Mr. Archer is all set for a nice, peaceful evening at home. <laughs> Wait a minute. Those aren't Mr. Archer's socks. What I mean is that can't be Mr. Archer at all. What's going on here? How about going to the movies tonight, Janet? No, thanks. I'm much too tired after last night. <laughs> you really don't want to go? <laughs> well, I'd like to, but I'm really exhausted. Well, all I can say, Janet Archer, is that before we were married, you promised me that we'd never be stay-at-homes. All right, I'll go. Let me get my coat. I just hope I don't fall asleep at the movies. Good night, Harry. Yes, dear. <laughs> 